Okay, um, the, the point of my talk here is to give an in, um, introduction into why is the topic of interest. Um, wh why would anybody care about ethics of ICT? And um, all speakers are, are linked to the Ethica project, which is a, an, an FP7 project where we look at ethical issues of ICT. But um, before going into the, the details of how we identify emerging technologies, what we mean by ethical issues, uh, how we evaluate them, uh, how we can address them, I thought it would be useful to have a general introduction um, because some of you may be familiar with ethics of technology, others may be less so, and uh, particularly if, if you come from a more technical background, you may not have had exposure to the question of well, what's the relationship between ethics and, and IT. Uh, as a, um, a general starting point, there are lots and lots and lots of different things um, where ethical issues relate to some sort of technology, and this one here it's a picture of Three Mile Island, uh, which is the American site where the first major uh, nuclear um, disaster happened, or almost nuclear disaster happened, and then, of course, followed by Chernobyl. And uh, so there's a whole string of, of different um, catastrophes of mishaps in, uh, related to technology over the last, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 years. Um, probably, um, well, probably going back as long as we have technology, but they, the, the big culminating point was probably the First World War, where people became disillusioned with the progress of technology. And the one on the other hand, here, on the other side, is a, a uh, I think it's supposed to be a cat with a, a cow's hat, a head, which doesn't exist, as far as I know. I think it's probably uh, a fake photo, but it indicates uh, some of the, the um, debates we've had around uh, biotechnology, genetics, um, what, what are the limits of what we can do. Um, and it's just meant to show that there are ethical issues with technology, all sorts of different technologies, all sorts of eth different ethical issues. Why specifically information technology, information communication technology? Well, these again are examples of um, things that we might see as possibly ethically problematic uh, and that are related to ICT. So we have the, the surveillance, which for somebody who comes like me from the UK is an ongoing issue. Um, we have down here a, a possibly autonomous weapons platform. Uh, over there we have the conflation of, human, uh, of organisms and ICT. And down here we have uh, misuse of ICT. This is, I think, supposed to be somebody who steals things. Uh, he's a bad guy, as you can see from the mask on his face. So this is just the, the general opener. Oh, there are lots of things in technology in general and in ICT that can be seen as ethically relevant. What are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to uh, think about what are emerging technologies going to be and what are the ethical issues going to be, and why is that a good thing? Well, if we had the answer to what the future ethical issues of technology are going to be, then there are lots of people who could do something with that, and, and this is just a, a non-exhaustive list of that. So we have policymakers who could be proactive, who could try to address issues as they arise, before they arise. Um, we have researchers who could think about the acceptability of their, their work. Um, that's something, if you, if you work in ICT, for example, in the seventh framework program, you have to think about ethics. Um, if we had a better way of doing that, then that would help researchers. Uh, for industry, there, there may be functional advantages uh, in that if you can predict the ethical issues, then very likely your consumers, your, your customers are going to be happy because um, you, you've taken their concerns into consideration. Consumers would be happ happier because they would get products which don't raise all sorts of issues that they uh, would like to avoid. And generally society might be a better one um, because we, we have an early grasp on the ethical issues. But, and this is the big but at the bottom here, now, how do we know? Um, the future is unknown, uh, so how can we know what emerging technologies are and what uh, the ethical issues are going to be that they raise? And that's the, the, the main question that we're trying to address in the overall project. Um, and this has probably got more words on it than, than it should, and they're probably too small for most of you to, to read, but those are some of the, the, gen, the, the, the general problems that the Ethica project has faced. So we have questions of definitions. What do we mean by technology? And, and very briefly, uh, we've decided that to use the term technology for something for high level the social technical system that influences the way humans interact with the world. So it's not little tiny bits, but it's uh, the attempt to grasp a, a bigger picture. When do we know whether something is emerging? When do we know whether an ICT is emerging? Well, that's something we spent a lot of time debating in the consortium, um, because it's uh, it, um, emerging technology is not really here nor there. So it's not really 
completely established. If it were, then it probably wouldn't be emergent. But it's also not completely in the future. It's, it's not unknown. It's somewhere in between those. And um, what we've said is that if something is an emerging technology with a uh, time horizon of about 10 to 15 years, then it's probably being developed at the moment. So there must be something that we can get our hands on, even though we don't fully know what the technology is going to be in the end. How can we identify them? Um, and, and Baiko is going to talk a bit more about that, the, our approach to what we think uh, allows us to say something reasonable about the unknown uh, future. And what can we say about them? Um, and I just want to reiterate, we clearly don't know the future, but we do know some things. We know what people say about the future. And on the basis of that, we can probably draw inferences on what possible futures might be. And on the basis of those inferences, on, on, those, uh, on the basis of that understanding of the future, we can then make choices today which will allow us to influence the future. And then there's the, the, the question of, uh, if we look at different technologies, how do we compare them, how do we evaluate them? Um, so there's lots of technical development going on, as, as we can see from a lot of the things that are going on here. How do we know where to focus on? And that's the, the, the question that uh, Michael is going to look at. These are just two examples of uh, what we've identified as um, technologies. We've come up with a list of probably around 11 now um, technologies that we, we think are those high-level technical, socio-technical systems that will change the world. And we have on this side, uh, this, uh, on the left side, we have ambient intelligence, uh, where the idea is you have um, all sorts of technologies interlinking, uh, blending into the background, and uh, interacting with humans. On the other hand, we have effective computing, where the idea is that uh, machines can perceive emotions, can display emotions, and they can somehow process emotions. And there's, there's a link between those as well, because um, if ambient intelligence had um, effective computing abilities, then that would help it. Just to show you that those are very complex systems. It's, it's, we're not talking about an individual artifact. We're talking about very complex um, issues here. Now, I probably want to um, speed this up. The, the, so far, I've just talked about technology, but we're talking about ethics and technology. So the que next question is, what's ethics? And you see here a, a set of different answers, which are all true to some degree, but which are interlinking. Uh, so ethics r ranges from our intuition, and that's good, and that's bad, and that's right, and that's wrong, um, over more generalized rules, saying one should do this, and one shouldn't do this, to the question of why, why do we have those norms? Yes. Um, how do we reflect on those and how do we justify them in the end? There is a, a difficult question, what's the relationship between the law, between legal regulations and ethics? And that's something that Ivan is going to, to touch on. Um, and then there's a, also a very difficult question, how do we know the future ethics? How do we know that the ethics of what we perceive, for example, of privacy is going to change drastically in the next 10 years? And how do we do? How do we deal with the ethical issues within the development of technology? So how, how can we uh, put the word inject here, or implement, or realize ethics into technology? And that's something that Philippe is going to talk about: the, the question of of governance. So the people who are talking today, um, Kutuma has already introduced them, so I don't have to do this again. Just to very briefly recap: Vaiko is going to talk about the identification of technology. Michael is going to talk about the evaluation of those technologies. Ivan is going to talk about the, the legal aspects of that, and Philippe is going to talk about uh, the implementation of the, the governance arrangements. And finally, just to recap, why do we do this? Why are we here? Why do we spend a lot of European money to, to come to Turin? Well, partly we want to tell the world what we're doing, because that's part of what you do in a research project, but I think um, even more important, from my perspective at least, is that we want to get your feedback. We want to make sure that we understand what your concerns, questions, comments are. And there will be an interactive and discussion um, section at the end of this. Uh, but we've given out specific feedback sheets, and we'd very much appreciate if you could fill them in so we know who was in the room and what their, their issues are. So um, if you have a question, it would be great if you could write it down, even if we get to discuss it later on, um, that, so that we'd have a record of, of your reactions to what we're doing here. And down there we have the, the project website. And I think I'll stop here. Thank you very much.